The last section of chapter A involves using a calculator, picking a calculator, I should say. Now, when I went to school in high school, we used slide rules. We didn't even have calculators. And in college, when I graduated and went to grad school, the first calculator that came out was the one I, the type I fell in love with. It's called the reverse Polish calculator where you would enter, let's say three, enter four and hit the plus sign. So that, and then you get your answer. And this is called the reverse Polish notation. And the other kind of calculator is where you would go from left to right and put in parentheses with the expression. I'm gonna here strongly recommend the reverse Polish calculator. And here's a calculator I purchased in the 1980s. It's an HP calculator, Hewlett Packard, and it has that feature. Now, I'm gonna direct you to a YouTube video if you're not familiar with this kind of a calculator that will explain uh, things you know, in somewhat detail. The reason why I, I really like the reverse Polish and use it for my entire career uh, the first reason is that it was the first calculator that showed up on the market made by the engineers at Eula Packard. And Eula Packard, a very respectable company, the kind of science uh, people and engineers that I identify with and would like to be, to be like them, they chose this for all their calculators, this kind of uh, notation. And then when I used it, I really loved it. It's actually how you do calculations. You, if you have something with parentheses and all, what you would do is you would work with inside the parentheses and work outward. You wouldn't start with the far left and, and go from left to right. You would kind of work with inside the parentheses and this calculator does that for you. The third reason is that what makes it possible to do that is the concept of the stack and the stack is like when you enter something here and enter something else, the, the, you're pushing onto the stack, which are memory slots, the, the previous uh, values and, or intermediate values as you calculate, and then they pop off when you come down. This is a very important concept in computer science that I think the physics majors, the folks who study uh, science sh should know about, and you are uh, t taught that indirectly by just simply using, learning how to use this kind of a calculator. Fourth reason is that when they did studies with this calculator and the one with parentheses, they found that this calculator won out. Like the, the best people using this calculator and the best people using the other calculator had like a contest. They found that this kind of calculator reverse polish was superior, less mistakes, less keystrokes and all that. So here, this calculator, which I've used for many years and it still works, is now amazing that you can get on the iPhone. I'm gonna pull up my iPhone 7 here, which I can still keep to use as a calculator and also as a camera. This is made by HP and it's basically the same size. Isn't that wild? This cost me $169, $179, I believe, in around 1980, early 80s. And this uh, app, HP, like 12 bucks or, or 14 bucks or 15 bucks, something like that. And there's other emulators, uh, apps, which you can buy. I have actually several HP calculators. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So here's the calculator, a physical calculator, and then the one that's the app, essentially the same calculator. So I don't need this one anymore and we'll probably give it to a former student who likes to collect these calculators since I have it on the iPhone. I think it's unfortunate that the high schools and grade schools like in the US, they, they will promote the 
th not this one. They'll promote the one which has the parentheses because it's for the masses, it's kind of easier to do. But if you want to be a scientist or an engineer, you, you're not going to be served well by by that kind of a calculator. I know this is, can be controversial, and there'll probably be people that are upset with this uh, pushing of one calculator over another. It's a personal choice. The bottom line is you pick what calculator you want to use. I just feel it's my obligation as a teacher to give some advice. And what advice that I give you here refers to the success I've had with, with the HP and also the research that has been done showing its superiority. Okay, so I uh, hope that's uh, useful to you. Uh, you'll be with a calculator for a long time and notice that these calculators have uh, the, the scientific, uh, the HP-15C has all the cosines and sines and all these important functions. And it's, it's cute, you actually can program it, although uh, you probably wouldn't be doing that today. We'd use other programming languages for that. So anyway, that's a little pep talk, my views on calculators, and we'll begin either our next chapter will be chapter B, which will get into kinematics more uh, coming up. See you then.